initial design of H.R. 40, when it was initially introduced, was one that Congressman Conyers tried to emulate uh, with the Japanese bill that was introduced a year earlier. The Japanese bill was introduced as a form of starting a commission to look into the wrongful internment of Japanese Americans during World War II. And that bill subsequently was passed and reparations were afforded to the Japanese or awarded to the Japanese in the, in the form of compensation. Uh, I think it was $20,000 per family. Um, and also uh, a particular issue that faces us today was uh, the release of Japanese prisoners who fought against their internment. And we have that same issue today where we're fighting for the release of uh, black political prisoners who fought against all of the injustices that our ancestors had, that we and our ancestors have endured, especially around police terror and some of the other injustices here in America that we consume under the term crimes against humanity. And so uh, a, a Detroit native by the name of Reparations Ray Jenkins, that's how he became known in the movement, went to his congressman, uh, Congressman John Conyers, and said that there should be a reparations bill. And so Congressman Conyers, in his dedication to uh, justice for people of African descent, initiated that bill, introduced it in the House in 1988, I believe, and it has been and reintroduced it for its entire tenure after that in, in, in Congress. And so um, it was initially designed, and it could talk about the differences between, it was re revised in 2017, actually 2016, but it was introduced in 2017 by, uh, at the request of NARC. Uh, but it was initially designed to study whether or not there was injury among current living Africans, people of African descent, African Americans, at the time that it was introduced from the history of enslavement, from the history of Jim Crow segregation, because this nation did not know or did not hold in a collective consciousness that those periods had any effect on current living Africans. And those of us who were in the movement had the total opposite position. And so Congressman Conyers felt that that, that was what the, what the um, commission would need to focus on, whether or not there was continued injury, and if they found continued injury, let's see what type of recommendations we can make to address those injuries. <laughs> 